Hey, Feet, my friends! Sasha here, doing a side thing to the Block Hood Challenge. We're doing Optimal Hood. Finding the most optimal solutions for the puzzles that I can find. Starting with, it's all about the water. Now, the most optimal solution I could think of... Six wire towers. Then you need two corner stores to fund those. Four small apartments. Because you need labor for all that. Then it's elm trees. Need four of those guys. I did not mean to put it up top. As an aside, I am also attempting to find a one-layer solution to each of these puzzles. Nice. Now maximize velocity. Challenge one done. As you can see, all green trends, except for ones where the trend is exactly zero. Usage out equals usage in precisely. That's optimal hood. Next. Challenge two, knowledge economy. You just need 10 knowledge. Doesn't get simpler than that. One small apartment, three large apartments, and a school. Then we need elm trees, and grass. I'm trying to read off my notes on another screen. In the description I'll put a Google Doc explaining how I did these. Water tower, sprinklers, and then since we need all green trends, an office to make money. Solar panels. Technically just six. I meant to put it there for symmetry reasons. And it's literally that simple. It's also one layer. Challenge three, Tycoon. This one is a little more interesting because a bunch of different ways you can do it. You don't even have to do it symmetrical like I am, but I'm doing it symmetrical because why not? Diagonal symmetrical. Okay, so two each of barber sh of barber shop, corner store, small apartment, large apartment, and newsstand. And then we are also going to need a water tower. For ash trees instead of elm trees this time. Two sprinklers. And five windmills. Now I'm actually going to say six because you need a little extra power for elevators. All green trends, just the way we like it. I do want to point out something very important for later builds. You cannot put something directly on top of a windmill because it is slightly taller than one full block. That is going to affect things later on when I try to make vertically tileable versions. 
You know, let's just get rid of those exovers. Why'd that not poof? Money, money, money. Next. Last one for today's video, aquaculture. Now, past Sasha actually had the right idea. The solution that I came up with in the previous video was almost optimal on its own. To each a hydroponic and fish farm. Two small apartment. Two large apartment. A market. Four ash trees. Two sprinklers. A water tower for an initial water supply. Two algae farms. And... It should be four windmills? It might have to be five, we'll see. Ah, electricity trend is exactly zero. So this solution's fine, but if you want to expand higher, you'll need one additional fan in order to be able to build elevators. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, the hood just does its thing. And the first four puzzles have been optimized. Well, I shall see you next time. Till then, do Brinich, Ukraina. Do Brinich.